Have you ever found yourself saying, I don't know where to begin when trying to start your work on a research paper? Don't worry, you're not alone. The Kane University Library provides access to hundreds of thousands of books and ebooks, more than 30,000 periodicals, and nearly 200 research databases. It's only natural to feel a bit overwhelmed by all of these potential sources of information. After viewing this brief tutorial, you will be able to implement a few strategies for selecting relevant research tools and jumpstarting your research. The Kane University Library homepage at library.kane.edu provides several options to help you get started. Let's try clicking the Research Guide button toward the center of the screen. This will bring you to the library's Research Guides, also called LibGuides, page where you will find a collection of more than 100 subject-focused research guides. These guides can serve as your own gateway to the library's specialized resources for particular subject areas. You can click Browse All Guides to view an alphabetical list, or click a subject area from the subjects list on the left. For instance, say your research paper will focus on how a person's birth order in a family influences the development of that person's personality. Perhaps you might consider focusing on this topic from a psychology perspective. Simply click on the link for psychology from the subjects list on the left. At the moment, four research guides fall under the psychology category. But for this topic, let's click the psychology link to access the psychology research guide. This guide has been created by one of the librarians at Kane, who has created a gateway to the library's resources for this particular academic discipline. Notice how the guide has tabs across the top third of the screen. Each research guide automatically goes to the Start Your Research Here tab. This section focuses on subject encyclopedias, dictionaries, handbooks, and other reference works, which typically provide introductory articles within the subject area. These types of resource are a good place to gain background knowledge of your topic, as well as ideas for narrowing topics that are still very broad. On the Start Your Research Here page, the librarian has listed recommended encyclopedia databases, as well as online and print encyclopedias and other reference books for your particular subject area. Notice how the database names are in blue hyperlinks. Some of the encyclopedia names are also blue hyperlinks and have a note indicating electronic resource. You can click the link to access a database or a specific encyclopedia. However, if you are off campus when you click these links, you will need to log in with your Kane Library barcode. Make sure you've gotten a barcode for the back of your Kane photo ID card. You can get a barcode at the Nancy Thompson Library's circulation desk. Each research guide also has a tab labeled Find Articles. This is the place where you can find links to additional databases for your subject area. The databases will enable you to search for scholarly, peer-reviewed journal articles about your topic. Most research guides also have a tab labeled Get Handouts. This is where you can find links to any handouts created by librarians for classes in your subject area. These class handouts typically provide links of recommended reference books for your subject area. Each handout will also include a section focusing on databases, where you will find a list of recommended databases along with step-by-step -step instructions for how to start searching in each database. While the Research Guides button on the library's homepage provides access to subject-focused gateways to the library's resources, you could also click the Articles and More button toward the center of the screen to access the library's research databases. The Articles and More page provides access to all of the online research databases to which the library subscribes. Although these databases are available through the alphabetical menu listed toward the top of the page, you can also explore other database options for your subject by using the Databases Listed by Format, Subject, and Reference Category menu. For instance, if you are focusing on a health-related topic, you could click the Health Sciences from the Subjects menu. The Humanities link will provide access to recommended databases for subjects like Ethnic and Cultural Studies, History, Literature, and Philosophy and Religion. If, on the other hand, you are focusing on a psychology-related topic, try clicking the Social Sciences link. 
where you will gain access to recommended databases for psychology as well as for other social science disciplines like communication, criminal justice, ethnic and cultural studies, and so on. Just like in the Find Articles section of the research guide, here you also have links to databases for your subject area. Most of these databases will allow you to search for scholarly peer-reviewed journal articles about your topic. Simply click a database name to access the search form for the database where you can begin searching for articles about your topic. Thank you for viewing our tutorial. If you need additional guidance as you start your research, please ask a librarian for help.